Hey guys, welcome back to another episode in the deep playthrough of Lara Croft's Shadow of Tomb Raider. Really dig this uh, environment with the water. Reminds me a bit of the start of Gears of War. What was the last one? Five? Or four? Don't even remember. But the last one. The game also starts in like an area like this only with a bit more shallow water but same magicalness anyways let's clear out this water place let's do it um, systemically let's approach it systemically Let's just go around the whole place and then slowly work our way inwards. Pretty happy I have the upgrades that allows for Some additional uh, time underwater. Additional lung capacity for Lara. I only want to go in here if it's a side quest. Not the primary path, because then chances are we will get a cutscene and then we won't uh, and cannot backtrack. Well, I want to still enable that lagoon over here, but it's not the primary path. It's just a map. Very nice. Don't see that much appearing, except for these. That's probably in the temple that we have to access over through here, through the current uh, primary objective. really like the dive if it correctly triggers sometimes it doesn't really trigger I really like this setting a lot this is really like magicalness of the original Tomb Raider games it also had you like in awe, while at the time the graphics were like atrocious compared to this but at the time you didn't know knew better and they were pretty advanced for what was available on the uh, contemporary hardware Very nice. I like those little froggies. Very nice. Although, of course, it feels a bit like cheating having all those maps. Maybe more fun to just try to find them all on your own in the rooms. But on the same, at the same time, it does make life a lot easier. So you can get through it quicker. less need to linger around for hours at the same spots trying to find that last collectible which is of course not fun if you're watching a youtube video all right this is uh, probably the way in nice parrots 
really feels a bit like uh, Uncharted. But looking at these graphics, they are way more sharp compared to what the PS4 can output. PS4 also outputs like 4K, but it's like a bit fake 4K. Upscaled or checkerboarded or whatever it is. I don't know that much about all the technic techniques, but... Right, I have to watch out for... Ah, uh, fuck! How can I avoid them? Probably have to swim past them quicker. Anyways, uh, this is also not uh, super true 4K in the sense that I have DLSS enabled. But it's more true 4K than... Right, where are they? There they are. That's the ones that I have to watch out for. down there again I think there's also one more holy shit there they are I think there was also somewhere by such a flickering symbol or maybe I already I saw two of them but I think there was one more down below and there's also one of those chests over here maybe I already opened it up or picked one in the previous episode and I just picked the other one at the start of this episode but let's make sure I'm not overlooking it I think here is one approximately here that I already picked up. Did I? I have one more chest to find. chest there's gold ore but I already took this one right yes come on Lara you can do this god damn it So you really cannot escape them. It's quite annoying. There they go. 
down below. It's really like... A bit of a gamble whether or not you will be taken out by them. They're really moving in a super slow circle over there, down below. And again... Whew. But there was something there, down below there. Here, what's this? Ah, you have to get out of their side, so to say. quite a hard time finding that last box. Maybe it's in there. That could also be, of course. But let's do one or two more suicide runs. Because I still don't really have the layout down. To my feeling. Or maybe I do, but I have the idea that it's still bigger than it maybe actually is. There might still be stuff here. Probably there simply isn't. I've already explored it fully. I think I've pretty much explored it all the way. Chest, goddammit. Alright, let's watch it one more time. We've already went down there, right? Yes. Oh! God damn it! there was a plant that I overlooked. No, I pretty much cleared it out, I would say. It's almost like these plants say respawn but probably I just didn't pick them up anymore because I was full at least as regards the green ones god damn it what do you want me to do all right I still don't have the feeling that I fully have this area down in the sense that I know it's layout it's a bit confusing layout with all these nooks and crannies and also the limited visibility here we go again but I'm pretty sure that I found everything that's to be found here So let's continue ahead.
Here we go. And keep our eye open for the elusive. Ah, here it is, the last box. Very nice. for me again I really dig this area really beautiful and also if you look here at all the symbols there's nothing really white anymore so I do think I pretty thoroughly cleared it check out cool little parrots Super cool. That one also looking the other way. Pretty realistic movements of their heads. Cool animation. Right, please no more of those piranhas. They're just annoying to be honest. I'm pretty sure there will be more. And I will probably have to hide a bit better. Ah, let's immediately get this one. Can I get some air, please? Damn it. Damn it! Alright, we need to do some digging around here. At the one point, I one and I really like these underwater section sections. They are a bit claustrophobic, especially with those piranhas moving about. Look like you can really just take it easy and explore. I don't see that many piranhas, so that's a good thing. engravings on this helmet in its unusually good condition could mean this helmet was worn more as an accessory rather than protection in combat. Perhaps Lopez used it to project an air of importance. Could well be, Lara. They carried a sacred object to a great temple. The box of Eshel. What was that? Pretty cool. It was pretty close by, I would say. There's not much room for them to run far, yeah, unless they run, run over there. Is there a way out of here? Nope. 
this is just a little side. Ah, can we get down here? No. Nope. Not sure where I came from. bit confusing so maybe it is not and I'm just over complicating matters I really like to empty it out as much as possible what's this Holy shit, another people. What up? A rubbing taken from the walls of the cenote. It is simply a large X and the word run. Taken from the what's a cenote? Right, let's make that a learning moment. One second. Cenote. What the hell is that? C no T. Some kind of a watery cave in Yucatan. Where the hell is Yucatan? Yucatan. It's an island. All right, that was the learning moment of today. Islands near Mexico and Guatemala and stuff. That's uh, actually not an island, but an island connected to land. And I wonder what the English word for that is. So I'm making that another learning moment for all the non native English speakers. Peninsula. So that's not like a totally standalone island. There's like a, a connection to land. All right, but at least we found another tidbit. What's this? Did I, I think I came from here. Right? Side. Let's check that out. <laughs> right, this rings familiar. 
And then I came all the way from over there. Yeah, that makes sense. <coughs> Sorry. Hey, what's that? It was a graphical glitch. Come on, Lara. Yes, that's where we came from. to get the hang of this place but the confusing thing is uh, it's not that confusing when you go for air and you get back in the water your orientation whether that changes or not all right i already checked this out so we're going pretty strong side room that were the same bubbles we went before I guess and so this is where you I guess get up and you can take a breath of the same bubbles but anyways if you take a breath your orientation i was like okay that's really a bit confusing but actually it's not that confusing because when lara gets back down she faces the same way as when you um, enter the bubble Yes, so I think I pretty much cleared this area out and this is indeed the primary path out of here. We are dealing with some monsters of some sort. Holy shit. I am taking some more tea. Man, that's tip how unimmersive is that check out the size of it totally takes you out of the game that's why i hate i truly despise huts i mean everything is over here uh, i'm not sure where not here but anyways it's um here so if you don't know just look it up there's no need for each time you encounter a certain obstacle for the game to remind you of the controls it's just retarded this is really the lowest common denominator everything is being dumbed down luckily games more and more do give some adjustability as regards to huts up there But it's just mind-boggling in my book. At the start, when games really came into existence, like a long time ago, in the 90s, I think it was then more for like, maybe the nerds, like me. Holy shit. I saw somebody walking there. And there's some gold over there. I get that gold. Anyways, um, yeah. oh, this 
Shit. Maybe it was more for the nerds, but and, and you could say, okay, that's a bad thing, but to me it's actually a good thing. Because at least it wasn't as incredibly dumbed down. You, you had to figure out stuff yourself in the old timey days of gaming. Compared to what it is now, where it's really catering to, yeah, very, uh, yeah. None, uh, yeah, you really don't need to think at all anymore, almost, in a game. It's just follow the hut and you uh, complete your, oh, shit. And you complete your game. There's, there's no... thinking required anymore and as such also a way less sense of achievement once you actually figure something out and it's it's one of the games where it's really true i must say that the puzzles in this lara croft find them pretty funny pretty fun but is where this really rings true is in lara croft series it used to be incredibly hard, like the first Lara Croft game. <laughs> you could really um, be stuck for hours, for days, trying to find a lever. No hand holding whatsoever. And now you have like those retardedly big huts pointing you in a direction and telling you what button to press first of december each step of the way we've entered a cenote not far from the city and set up camp in a small alcove lopez has spent the evening staring into the flames utterly ensorcelled his dinner untouched twice i attempted a conversation but his silence rebuffed me each time he is utterly focused on this artifact if i were a more superstitious man i would wonder if the artifact is speaking to him directly the soldiers keep to themselves as well. They seem anxious for battle. One of their dogs stared at me all evening, as though I were to be his next meal. It's actually pretty well done, like uh, creating an eerie atmosphere. Let's do a challenge too. goes but in that main hole where we came from there was actually oh we need shotgun there were more ledges that i don't think i really could reach probably i need to reach that yeah there it is that's the gold or i was looking for on the other side that I noticed. In the um, other area. I also do like it that you can get back through crevices like these. In other games, you're in Uncharted, you would simply be locked out. Here, what I mean is... There was more to climb. I cannot get back there now. But it was the ledge over there. It went over there. Yeah, we need that shotgun. And that's a bummer. So you cannot really... 100% the game in a logical manner probably after completing the game you have to get back in there with um, 
all the upgrades and weapons and then hunt for some of the uh, last items that you couldn't access before and the thing is for instance there's an item over there or at least it's gold it's not marked on the map so at the end of the game you will simply see areas where you did not pick up everything you don't see it on the map so you just have to run through the whole level until you remember indeed like oh yeah there was a, a shotgun wall here i think there were uh, also earlier areas in the game where indeed there were blocked off paths uh, because of a shotgun wall and i have no idea anymore where they were exactly the game simply the world is too big for that to remember at least for me so that's a bit annoying so you just have to restart it run through the area until you recognize it again and, and, and see like ah yeah there was that door that I still had to open oh going the wrong direction pretty stupid there was air way closer by but whatever let's just go back Water effects are well done, I must say. Ah, there's the two. Yeah, probably, but what is then that other room? What's over here? Ah. A horn. Black powder. There's a contraption. Now, this is where we started. Hmm, I totally missed. from there ah I can get back out here Just um, scouting ahead a bit. to access them. <laughs> I 
I don't remember the hell. No, this is a new area. Ah, this is... Ah, that was the main campaign. That's where we needed to go. No, now I'm overshooting myself. I would like to get back. That's possible. In the challenge too. Let's see if that's possible. I hope it is. Good work, Lara. Ah, uh, shit, I don't think it's possible. So, am I screwed now? God damn it. I have to end the episode, anyways. I am. Over time, but I will uh, try to restart checkpoints and see whether we get back to the challenge tomb. I doubt it, actually. But uh, let's first get the challenge tomb before um, continuing in the primary objective. Let's. Yeah, I will just do one episode after this one, so immediately dive right back in, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you in the next one. For the meantime, do not forget to always do keep on gaming. See you later.